Hello and welcome back. If you are looking for a constant supply of good problems, you are in for some good news. The Harvard MIT Math Tournament has been putting up problems of the week on their website. I've put a link in the description below if you wish to check out the current problem of the week. So this is actually from one of the past problems of the week. The problem is as follows. Consider the following 4x4 grid of unit squares. What is the radius of the dotted circle? I don't know about you, but looking at the diagram, it reminds me of a game that I used to play in the past, called Orbitals. Don't know how many of you have played this before. But anyway, let us take a look at the, how to solve this problem. Now, there is a really boring way to do this, do this problem, where we try to solve for the center of the dotted circle through coordinate geometry. I mean, it's quite natural for you to try to put 0, 0 here, 4, 4 here. And then the center of the circle x, y will satisfy the equation given by the fact that the distance to each of the three small circle centers are going to be equal to each other. So I have an algebraic equation here where I can solve for x and y. But if that is all I cover in this video, then it will not be a very interesting video and there is not much to be learned. So instead, we'll be doing a fancy way to solve this problem. Now, the fancy way involves looking at instead the circumradius of triangle ABC. Because we realize that if we look at this larger triangle, it has radius of the required uh, dotted circle plus an additional half. So let us instead find the circumradius of triangle ABC. And to do that, we are going to use another fancy formula. Now, I don't know if you have seen this formula before, but the area of a triangle ABC is given by the product of its side lengths divided by 4 times the circumradius. You might think, well, who will know what, who will have heard of this fancy formula and it's impossible to remember it? Well, there's a, actually a really easy way to derive this formula. I'm sure you have seen before that the area of a triangle is given by half AB sine C. And you have also seen before the sine rule that the ratio of the side length to the corresponding sine of the angle is given by 2 times the circumradius. So if we substitute sine C from here into the first formula, we very easily derive the fancy formula. So hopefully this gives you a mnemonic to remember the fancy formula. And it's actually quite useful. So in this case, we can find the circumradius if we can find the area and the side length. And the area is actually quite easy. We'll use this fancy diagram here where we realize that okay, we can actually have this dotted, dotted square, which is of side length 3. And then we have all these very nice side lengths, which will allow us to calculate the area of triangle ABC by taking the whole square area 9, subtract off the area of each of these right angle triangle. So half 3 times 1, half 2 times 1, and half 3 times 2. This gives the area of ABC as 7 over 2. And of course, the side lengths can be very easily calculated. So overall, we have R equals to side length product. So side length product is just using Pythagoras theorem. Square root 5, square root 10, square root 13. Then divided by 4 of times the area. So this gives, the square root 5 comes out with the square root 5 gives you 5. Square root 2 and square root 13 gives square root 26. So 5 square root 26 over 14. And let's not forget to subtract half. So this is the final answer. So a very fancy way, but hopefully it, it, is, uh, it delights you to see such a beautiful way to find the solution instead of just pure algebra. So what do you think of this problem? Do check out the current problem of the week. It's actually quite interesting. So stay tuned and see you soon.